Welcome to this week's industry newsletter. You might have seen recent meetings of the G7 where the world's largest of economies have made a significant commitment to reduce their emissions. Well, that responsibility is also just as apparent for the automotive industry. MTA Queensland has entered into a partnership with QUT in regards to automotive recycling. The notion being, how do we create a circular economy and ensure at end of life, everything in a motor vehicle can be recyclable. This week I'm really pleased to introduce you to the lead researcher, Safraz Ali from QUT, who's working in partnership with the MTA Queensland on this really exciting innovation. Ali, tell us about your project. Well, thanks Rod. My project is about automotive recycling and finding sustainable solutions for the automotive industry and for the car wrecking yard in particular. So if we look at the car, for instance, about 80% of this car is made up of metals, which is all right, which is 100% recyclable. But the rest 20% is all plastics, rubbers, and wires that are non-recyclables here and are all going to the landfill. So why, why is that a problem? I thought plastic was recyclable. I mean, the problem uh, with the automotive and end-of-life recycling is twofold. One, that this 25% is not recyclable here at the moment and it's all going to the landfill. Number two, apart from causing the environmental damage, of course, it is causing financial, I mean, distress in terms of waste levy for a car record. So what are you finding? What, what's the opportunity here for the industry? How can we do this better? So from where we see it as a project, we see that uh, there are going to be some steps to reduce this problem here. One being the process of plastic recycling in Australia in general, compared to other countries who are doing it quite well. Mm. The other being finding some viable solutions in terms of plastic, shredding that down and converting that as a base material for the 3D printing industry, that, that's where we are aiming our project to be. Right, so what do you think are the first steps we should make? How do we start getting down the road to being able to recycle plastic for the benefit of our industry? So if I gave you the MTA Queensland magic wand, what's the first big step that you'd create? Well, um, I would say it's going to be two or three steps down the lane. First being to study the best practice, what's mm -hmm. going on in Europe. You're doing that? Yeah, we are already doing that. And, and then collaborating with not just the car record, but the automotive industry in general, where yeah. we involve all the stakeholders in terms of the governments and big auto recyclers and all that. And then trying to come up with a processing unit that can actually convert that bumper bars and polypropylene hard plastics into small shredded refined plastic versions and then finding a market for plastic recyclable products. So that could be something that we create as an industry around that shredding type uh, facility. But I like the way you end. Last question, do you think this is a potential commercial uh, uh, market, a commercial opportunity for our industry? I think yes. It's going to be a very commercial industry at the end because this is what is happening around the world as we speak. The green mentality is taking its way, even here in Australia. So if we can get a hold of a recyclable plastic market, not just in the 3D printing industry domain, but also finding secondhand plastic market where this can be recycled and made into a plastic material that's going to be viable and 100% sustainable. Ali, thanks very much for your time. I'm really looking forward to the conclusion of this project over the coming months and years. We're uh, really looking forward to reporting back to you. See you next week. Thank you.